Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Stouter at Manchester West Veterinary Hospital. I want to talk about mange in dogs today. There's two basic types of mange that we look for. Uh, demodectic or demodex mange and sarcoptic mange uh, from the sarcoptic mite. These two have very similar effects on the dogs, but um, they kind of represent two aspects, uh, two sides of the spectrum that we can deal with. For example, the demodectic mange is a long cylinder type mite, lives in the hair follicles and skin. Will cause a, a patchy hair loss, um, specifically usually a non-red, non-itchy type of mange. The other type, sarcoptic mange, is a round mite, um, causes very red inflamed patches of skin. I was going to demonstrate on our cruiser here, our, our demo dog for the day, some of the signs. Now he of course has a beautiful hair coat and has no problems, but he, uh, he has allergies and will show a little itching, that itch reaction that we see. With sarcoptic mange, the red mange or itchy mange, the classic signs if you scratch around their ear, they will set that leg in motion very dramatically, very violently. They will have large red lesions throughout their body. Can occur in any age dog. Um, we will often see it complica complicating other skin problems. These dogs will often have very severe um, uh, infectious, uh, an infectious um, skin disease. They'll have um, red, itchy, nasty skin. Uh, a number of areas, elbows and face, not uncommon. Demodectic mange will often show up on a young dog as just like a patch on their face, just a hair loss. Or they'll get kind of a moth-eaten look up and down their legs. It can show up over the whole body as that picture previously indicated, but it is not itchy. The dogs will not scratch it. They may get some little secondary inflammation or infection, but it's very mild. Um, now the second difference, we look for mange the same way in these dogs, we have to do a skin scraping. As I said, it lives down in hair follicles, so we need to literally scrape the skin to try to pull it up. And we'll use a little mineral oil, a slide, and a dull blade, and just scrape this, a layer of the skin and look at it under the microscope where we can identify these mites. The sarcoptic mite is very difficult to find, while the demodectic mite tends to be very easy to find. The next step is treatment, and there are various treatments, and actually a number of treatments are not approved for use in dogs, um, so we go off-label. That's why any time a diagnosis is made in your pet, you need to discuss with your veterinarian and what's the best course of action. Um, for instance, in demodectic mange, the really only approved treatment is a dip, mitoban dip. There's uh, several formulations, and a dip done once or once a week or every other week for six to eight dips can be very effective. We will often use ivermectin. Ivermectin is the injectable. This is the same product in heartworm prevention, but at a higher dose. Um, that can be very effective, but is toxic at higher doses in some breeds of dogs. So then again, therefore, we need to talk, keep, talk to your veterinarian. Sarcoptic mange is actually much easier to treat. Revolution is approved to treat it. Now this is revolution for cats, but the revolution for dogs is, off, is approved for treatment of sarcoptic mange. One or two doses can actually be very effective. Um, the, the basic heart room perfections like, um, like heart guard and sentinel um, are effective in these manges at different doses. For instance, you might give these daily. Um, so there's a number of variations, uh, several complications. The key is, of course, getting the dog checked, getting the skin scraping, and it's often identified in the, in the hospital while you're waiting. Something else about mange is uh, people always worry about how contagious it is. The, again, the two different mites act differently. Demodectic mange is something that most dogs acquired during the first few days of birth, after birth. They, they acquired it from their mother. Many dogs will suppress it throughout their whole life and you'll never see a problem. That's why it often shows up in young dogs because their immune system is in flux and still developing and they will, and these demodex mites flare, um, whether in the localized form or the, the generalized over the whole body. Sarcoptic mange is contagious from dog to dog and dog to people. People often have just a you know transient rash. It goes away. It's not uh, terribly life threatening. It's not long term. Um, but again, the demodex mange is not contagious between dogs and people, while sarcoptic mange is. So if you have any questions, give us a call. I'm Dr. Stouter at Manchester West Veterinary Hospital. Thank you.